what extent do you see Downton Abbey as feminist in its portrayal of women? To me, it's a very interesting kind of feminism because, of course, it was way before anyone even knew the word feminism. And yet, there are very strong women in Downton Abbey and their strength permeates the entire story. It's a kind of strength that I think is the old-fashioned way women used to call the shots, which was under the radar. They accepted that on the domestic front, they would call the shots. And what you see it in the way Mary is taken over the running of the house and the way Violet controls many situations she's in, that, that women through men would make themselves make their presence felt. So um, for me, it, it's an interesting look at an old kind of version of a strong woman. And I think that I feel proud of the fact that the fact that it represents women over a certain age to start with is an act of feminism because it's so rare that we see interesting, funny, smart women above the age of 30. I mean, the camera in the media today just isn't really interested in them. It's as though they just fall off the planet Earth and stop having stories after that age. And and I think, at least in Downton Abbey, the the women are there. So uh, for that, I'm eternally grateful. Yeah, definitely. That's so true. Now, tell me, what for you, what does it mean to be feminist? For me, it's a very strong and important word because you align yourself with a history of women realizing that there is a need to fight for the right to have an equal voice. A woman's point of view is an important one to consider in any kind of negotiation or discussion. I'm not saying it's the only one, but it is a very important one. And when you when you get to the point where you have a society where that is silenced, it's a society that is not functioning healthfully and cannot really endure. And I think we're in, a, of course, a very terrifying period where a lot of the things that we fought for as women are now under threat once again. It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe that we've gotten as far as we've gotten and now are having to fight again. And I think it's just something to accept that the fight will, will, will probably continue into eternity because people don't relinquish power easily. So, you know, the fight will go on and on.